Good evening, everybody. We have Periscope, YouTube, and Facebook together today. Uh, I am Cooking Mean Jean. I educate and I demonstrate how easy it is to eat clean and how you don't have to break the bank to do so. All right, I got my lipstick on, my TV glasses, some earrings on. Oh, I miss some people on Periscope. How y'all doing? I will be reading three comment areas. Don't worry, it's okay. I've done it before. Zoe Ro, what's up? Marissa Corliss Mitchell, how you doing? I haven't seen your name in a long time. Okay. Uh, YouTube and Facebook, in case you're not used to it, you are on my webcam and Periscope is on my iPhone. Jo is it J Jose Gaskin? It is Monday. Hey, Genesis. How y'all doing? Hey, Nikki Chick. Tonight is special. Y'all know I go overboard on Monday nights. I don't know why, but I got a lot of things to do. Thank you. This is going to, I was trying to set up my monitor. This is the other uh, alternate screen on my Apple so y'all could see something. I want, But I, it didn't work out. Uh, you have been missing. You have been missing, Zoe. And PLC's in the crib. Sorry, thank you for inviting your followers. Please invite everybody. Invite, share, thumbs up, all that good stuff. Give me some hearts, all that good love. Um, now, today, JD Dog's in the crib. Sorry. I'm glad because JD Dog, we got to get this started right now. These are turkey necks. This was only $5 for three big old turkey necks. All right, y'all ready? We got to put this on the stove now because I need this to cook for at least 90 minutes. And then I'm going to add these beans that I saw. These are some uh, great northern beans. OK, so they are turkey. Well, what are they? They turkey necks. They are. That's what you call them. Why are you laughing? Mm, who's that? Who's that waving at me? Is that Marissa? I can't. Why? I need more glasses. Fernando. OK. Oh, Miss Richards is on here uh, on, on YouTube. Hey, Miss Richards. OK, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you all real quick the spices I'm, I'm putting in here. All right. So I'm going to put half of this container of onions in here. But before I do that, I want you all to see this pan. Let's see if we can tilt the camera. All right. This pan has spices in it. Dogs, they like next. They don't want to eat this because these little necks break up into your mouth and they ain't feeling good. All right, so we've got some lorries. Mm -hmm. We got some black pepper. We got some garlic salt, garlic powder. Excuse me. I don't use garlic salt. I don't like using garlic salt. I can add my own salt. See? Tony Saturday Life, dollar store version. Actual sea salt, onion powder. All right, so that's what's in the saucepan. Now what we're going to do is put half the onions in here. OK, we put all the onions in because, yeah, that's good. And then we're going to uh, let's move this out the way. We're going to put the uh, neck bones in and then we are going to put add water. We're going to sit it on the stove for 90 minutes. And then we'll come in and add the beans for like the 35, 45 minutes. Hold on, this didn't open up. And I'm also going to make some cornbread. So this is going to take the whole show to make. Actually, this won't even be done by the time we're finished with the show. The neck bones will be tender, and I'll show y'all what they look like. These were literally $5. I could not believe that. Anyhow, just so y'all can see. Okay, I'm going to go over to the sink and rinse them because somebody's crying. Ain't no one said anything, but I know y'all want me to rinse them off. Ah, I just felt that in my spirit. Who said that out loud? Who said that? So I'm going over to the sink over yonder. Mm -hmm, right here. We're going to rinse these babies off. <laughs> you was It was you? Genesis, I knew somebody was on here thinking she gonna rinse that off. All right, so we rinse it off the turkey necks. Regular water, not vinegar water. Just regular water, regular. Now this is smoked meat, so it's already cooked. All we're boiling it for is to tenderize it. That's it. That's it. This is already, when you smoke meat, it's already cooked. So I'm gonna throw this away. Put that in there. Let me wash my hands real quick, like. And, uh, Hey, Genevieve. All right, so got this. Where's my paper towels at? I need some extra paper towels. All right, now this gingerbread we're about to make, 
we had a little, I had a couple of problems just so y'all know. Okay, so this is, all we're gonna do is add water. We're going to the refrigerator and we're about done with that. But the gingerbread had a few problems. Is that cocoa tea? Cocoa tea to showed up to my cribazoid. I am so blessed. Let's throw these to the side. All right, I'm going to my Brita and we're gonna fill it up to it covers them about an inch or something like that. Whatever makes you happy, that's what we're going to go with. I know y'all can only see my legs over there on Facebook and YouTube. Don't worry. I'm coming back. I'm coming back. I promise you. The camera won't reach over to the refrigerator, so you can't see it. And almost there, almost there. Yeah, I know y'all think I'm crazy because I use bread of water, but so what? All right, this is what we got. The gas light is on. You couldn't stream on Friday either, Nelson? I could. I came on seven times and would not let me stream on Friday. Oh, my God. I thought it was just me. I came on. I was going to do this gingerbread on Friday. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for telling me that. Okay, so we got the flame on on the stove over here. Oh, I came on so many. I kept coming on and coming on, and it would not let me stream on Friday. It would not. Periscope would not let me stream on Friday, y'all. On Periscope. I, and that's my Periscope. Is uh, Friday night is Periscope only. We play music. We do everything because there's no copyright restrictions. I see you, Miss Richards. Mustard and hot sauce drizzled on them. Miss Richards says she like her turkey necks with mustard and hot sauce. All right, come on back, PLC. Okay, so what we're gonna do is let these sit. They've been sitting since before I left for work. So all we can do is all we have to do now is and I rinse them off. Is drain the water and wait for 90 minutes. And when this is done, I'm gonna add this. The the the, uh, the onions will be like kind of obliterated, obliterated. Y'all know what I'm trying to say. So the onions won't really be there, but they'll have flexure. Cornbread about to work on. First, we're gonna get to the cornbread at the end after we work on the house, because y'all seen me make cornbread a bunch. I got a little surprise on the house for y'all though. <laughs> we're gonna move this over to the stove. Let it sit there. And let me let me set the timer for 90 minutes so I won't forget because y'all know I will. And I will be checking it off and on so that it makes sure it has enough water in it. And uh, hold on one second here. Takes a few clicks to get to 90. Uh, okay, I'll have, come on now, come on, come on, come on. Okay, I'm trying to be precise so I can make sure I get everything where I want it. We are still going to cook it additional time when we add the beans. That's about 45 minutes because that's about as long as it's going to take for those beans. Um, and then because uh, the meat is a part that you want to cook. I'll throw something out the back door. Not today, J.D. Dog. Let me explain why, J.D. Dog. I'm not throwing anything out the back door. <laughs> Ms. Richards is excited. Over there. Are you excited or are you sad? You, you want turkey next, don't you? Yeah, I mean, you got to have all that starch out. Uh, turkey necks. We're doing turkey necks. And um, what was it? JD Dog, I saw a tarantula out there about a month ago. We all right. We ain't throwing too much out the door no more because when I saw that thing, I got pictures of it one day. I'll show it to y'all. Mm hmm. Tarantula in the back, in the corner of the yard. Peace, Zulu. Mm mm. We all right. We all right. All right. So we got our beans sitting over there. We got our uh, turkey necks. Trying to come to a boil. Cornbread can get last minute. We do that. Yes. Arizona's full of, man, come on. We got wildlife all year long up in this place. But we don't shovel snow. Oh, if I, I didn't think about that. Hard freeze. We going to get one. Hey, mommy sweeps. Uh, oh, you were drooling. That's what you were doing, Miss Richards. I got you. All right, y'all. I found some stuff, right? I've been missing you too. Oh, I'm in Tucson, Arizona. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, y'all. I found something that will help us build this gingerbread house. <laughs> Look what I found. A floor plan. See? Okay. Actually, if I mess up on this one, I got another one. So, let's just move on. 
No, don't ask me where I got it from. from. Don't worry about it. Okay, this is what I've decided to do. I'm going to knock out some walls. We're going to keep this living room area. We're going to keep this bedroom. We might not call it a bedroom. <laughs> it's going to be a nice gingerbread house. It will be big. And we're going to keep these two bedrooms, but we're not going to work. Up. We're going to make this a bedroom. We're going to knock out the closet. We're not going to keep the closets. A gingerbread mansion? I'm gonna knock out this wall because I don't want I want this to be the whole bedroom right here. No closet, no, no, uh, no, uh, what is that? Uh something bedroom. Yeah, no, no, no. And then we're not gonna use we might we'll leave the bathroom, but we won't make if I find a miniature toilet, we'll keep that as a bathroom. Okay. Otherwise, I ain't doing that. So this is gonna be a there's three bedrooms. We might call them something else. Then again, we have there's the master bathroom. I don't know what we're gonna do with that. It ain't trap 2.0. All right, so we got a yard here. We can do whatever with this, okay? So we're gonna, it's gonna be like this. We're gonna be able to do what we want. There's a carport and we'll figure that one out as we go. So this is the problem with the gingerbread house. Every time I make the gingerbread, y'all know what happens when I make the gingerbread? Yeah, some of y'all know what happens when I make the gingerbread. Some of y'all don't. What did I do last year? Uh, that's right, Miss Richards. I ate the driveway. Okay, y'all. I have made gingerbread twice. I keep eating it. So I only have two pieces for tonight to work on because I ate the other seven, eight. Yeah. That's what happens. So hold on a second. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to try not to eat the gingerbread house. Oh my gosh, you come in here cursing. Okay, so I'm trying not to eat the gingerbread house. This is what we're going to do. Now, I'm gonna try to make, I can, hopefully I can explain this to you guys. I'm gonna make four inch walls. I want the walls to be four inches. I, Mommy Sweet, why you think it took me so long to do this scope? We almost had Thanksgiving and I'm just now building the house. I ate the driveway last year. I see that JD dog. Oh, JD dog, I don't have, I got to give you powers. I got to give you powers. Um, okay, so this is what we're going to do. This room right here, this is bedroom room D, okay? So this one goes to this wall right here. Wait, hold on. That's not long enough. I got the wrong one. Hold on a second, y'all. Let me figure out which one this goes to. I tried to the label the fronts, the, uh, the things of which bedroom is going to. Oh, this is bedroom C, G. Ooh, wrong one. Hold on a second. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pretend like I'm on this old house. So this one goes to this six inch wall. Y'all see that's the length of the wall. So we're going to build a, we need a gingerbread wall like this. So I got to figure out how to cut it out of this gingerbread. Now that I know what I'm doing, I'm going to cut walls out of this gingerbread and glue them together but this thank you crystal for inviting your followers thank you for coming in and i the plans were coming up out of my head that so i can't send it back to me because it's from me man okay so what i gotta try to do is cut the gingerbread and not crack the gingerbread because this gingerbread was made on thursday i think or wednesday i'm surprised it's thursday Surprise, it's still here. So we're gonna get, this is my goal is to try to shape it. It's working. Oh my God. Welcome to, to, to Cooking Mean Jean. Okay, so we just wanna make sure that we don't, that we have all our uh, plaster. That is correct. Mommy Sweeps is right. If I, who's that who said that? Nina, I see Miss Soto, how you doing? If it cracks, I have to eat it. Come on with it. Now, so what I gotta do is get this all the way, where's my ruler at? What I need to do, hey Linda, thank you for getting, for your super hearts. Next time, what the best thing you should do, excuse me, hey Johnny, the, next, the best thing you should do is get your floor plan set up before you start baking. I learned my lesson. This is year two on the gingerbread situation. 
I'm learning every year. So what I'm trying to do, like I said, is not break my, not crack the wall. Okay, so I got, wait, hold up, I ain't getting any separated. Oh, just a little bit of fracturing there. So this is going to be the wall for this bedroom. See how that kind of fits right there? I wanted them to be four inches high. I think that's high enough for a gingerbread. Actually, I made four recipes of gingerbread already. And this is all I had left of the four recipes. Don't judge me. I won't judge you. Because anyhow, so this is, so I need, for this one, I need four of these. So I need four of these walls because I have one for this side, one for this. Wait, hold up. That's too big. Oh, these are not the same size. Yeah, I need about eight. Okay, so we got a gingerbread wall for this side, and then we need it. So I need two for this. This side right here is another measurement. So actually, I just realized I measured this room wrong. This is a smaller room, <laughs> which is good because I got a smaller piece right here. Ha ha. Because this is not this. Oh, wait. What we're going to do, if they're not exactly perfect, we're going to use uh, royal icing to shore it up a little bit like um, plaster. <laughs> so anyhow, I even got this crazy idea to try to make the sides of the house look like uh, like a log cabin. OK, so actually, I kind of got two walls here, so I'm going to try to cut through this without cracking it. Oh, Jesus, Father God. Hold on, y'all. I'm going to get two walls here. They're almost exact same size. They don't have to be perfect because I'm not a professional at gingerbread making houses. So here we go. We got two pieces that are almost exactly the same. As you can see, the edges are not level. We'll figure that out. We might seesaw that off. I don't know. But anyhow, I'm getting this stuff all over the, everything. So this goes for this one room. Yeah, hold on. Knock off the crumbs. So here was a piece that I needed for the wall. Turkey necks are on the stove. They're on the stove. Turkey necks take about two hours to cook. Okay, so we got this right here. Let me flip it around so everybody can see it, Facebook and YouTube. So right here, this goes to these sidewalks. Now I got to get a piece that goes here. And we need to find a box or something to lean this on so they stay together. Um, this is not easy. Okay, no problem, Miss Richards. See you later. You going you got the most of it. What's gonna happen? Okay, so this is not like the easiest thing to do. You have to be a super planner. I mean, if you like Legos, this might work for you because you like building something super, you know, you're special, very special. All right, so we got this is G build G room. So we're gonna put that to the side. Now we got to get these are the other little walls. This is G, building. Oh, this excuse me. This is room G. Okay, so this is this way. It goes this way. Stop it, mommy sweeps. It's a possibility we should have started in June. It's possible. So tonight we might just do one room because this is complicated, y'all. All right, so I got another piece of gingerbread. Hold on, is there more? Is there more? Oh, there's a little wedge I forgot to eat the other night. There we go. Might have to do that tonight. Just saying, just saying. Anyhow. So now I got to find out how many of these walls I can get out of here. Hold up. There's a big one, too. Yeah, we ain't working this. I got to make some more for this one. Don't eat your gingerbread. Don't eat your stash. This one is too long for this one, so I need more gingerbread for that. We might have to get little Barbies, little something, because I don't know about that Barbie fitting in there. Yeah, I might have to get, like, miniature stuff, because I want – y'all made me crazy. Because now I want to put in a uh, little miniature refrigerators. I want to do a Sim City, a Sim Sim house now because of y'all. Y'all did this to me. All right, so we're not doing these two. We need two of these walls. And we're going to make one room. And we still have leftover decorations from last year. Okay? Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and shake this out real quick. There's a rough edges on this one, and I don't like it. I'm going to bring it down so Facebook and YouTube can see me. All right, so I'm going to try to cut off the rough edges. Ooh. This one is a little more fragile. 
that's yeah we did everything but eat the supplies i still have some we don't have godzilla this year i think we're gonna need a wrecking ball this year hey jb um so i'm trying to cut this so it fits close to it so if you again if you know your floor plan and i didn't know my floor plan till recently till i found these floor plans and I, i'm glad i have two in case one messes up the hard part is keeping the walls up and letting them come solid um, before I put all four walls together, I'm going to have to cut a door in. I just realized that just now as I'm speaking to you guys. So I can't cut the door all the way in. Okay, there we go with that. Okay, this is a whole lot of planning. Next time y'all see this, I might have two or three rooms done. Because I don't want to bore y'all on here and y'all like, what the hell is she doing? Um, okay, hold on. Okay, so we got one of the walls. So we still on room number one, room uh, G. We still on room G. And that's where that fits in like that. Beautifully. Okay, so we're gonna make another wall for room G. And this tonight is more of an example of what how long it takes to make a real gingerbread house. Cause y'all know I like instantaneous um, satisfaction here. This is not instantaneous satisfaction. You got to work on this, baby. And I am, just so you know, I'm poking holes in this gingerbread so that it's like perforated. I'm perforating the gingerbread. That's what I'm trying to do here. And let's see here. I've got other comments. And it's better if you had a piece of plastic but man, if you're gonna change your house every year, get a piece of paper and make it happen. Now I got some of this done. I gotta trim off the edges a little bit. So now if I wanted to, I could use these crumbs that are left over to make a gingerbread crust like a, for us, a pie or something like that. This is all edible. As long as your hands are clean and all that, this is still edible. And ooh, that's coming off like, no, 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 don't get too special now. All right. Got a little edge on that one. There we go. Now we have four walls for the house and we'll figure it out. These are kind of oily now, as you can see. It was scrap paper. So that will, that's why I have some used scrap paper. Don't spend a bunch of money. Okay, so now we're gonna save the crumbs, put the crumbs in here. We can do something with them. This is food, people. This is food. All right, so now, the interesting part comes. Y'all ready for the interesting part? <laughs> this is very interesting. We are going to assemble the walls. We're gonna to try to do it. Okay. Yes, we can, this is real gingerbread. This is food. You can make this into a pie crust. You can crumble this up. And as you can see, it's kind of crumbly right there. Like instead of graham crackers, you have your own gingerbread crust same thing um we i made who is that brandy hey babe that's my sister in case y'all don't know i made some white royal icing i made it real thick this is our plaster why are you cracking over there all right so what we gonna do i gotta set it up give me a moment i'm gonna bring the little tray over here i'm gonna set it up here so y'all can watch it and see what's happening hopefully this will work it worked last year um, so I need opposite sides of the wall so I can do this. So I can put glue on that side and glue them together. That's what we're about to do. Let's see if this works out. <laughs> oh, Father God, let it work out. That's what, let's get all our supplies together. Get everything nice and clean. I have a serrated knife in case that little knife didn't work. I have a serrated knife to cut through. I just, I didn't need it really, so... All right, let's move that out the way. And just one moment. We using brick and mortar. Girl, I ain't mad right now. I could have been mad earlier, but I'm all right though, I'm all right. I, you know, I could have ate a little fewer calories, kind of mad at myself because I had too much sugar today. But I'm okay though, Trina, you know I'm okay. Hold on a second. All right, y'all might remember this from last year. This is our little display table. Yeah, I got this free from work. 
I got to adjust it. It ain't adjusted right. That way I can show it y'all what I'm doing while I'm cooking. I should have got two of these, but I only got the one. Bear with me a moment. We about to fix this baby. Hold up. Okay, that's good. That's good. You got to adjust the little legs. I don't know who came up with this. This is supposed to hold your uh, computer, something. I don't know. Anyway. Okay, so we got the bottom legs working. Wait a minute. I hope this is entertaining for y'all because this is weird for me. Just one second here. Okay, we got that part. Now we got to bring this one. Why are you moving? They have little angles on the side. Some like a lap desk. Okay, so this is, oh, we got to get this side. Okay, that side is good. You just got to get the degrees of it matching on both sides. Some of y'all from old school seen this before. I haven't seen it before until last year. Okay, so you got to make sure these are level that they're not going to be wobbly. And then we, tilt, we do this right here. This is at 70 or 40, 50 degrees. So you want I need to have it tilted just a little bit higher. I need it level so the house won't fall. All right. It's kind of going up. No, not quite for bed. It's metal. I don't know if you want this in bed. Okay, this is at 70. That was okay. This is at 70. This was at 72. Okay, hold up. We need to put it on 60. Nope. You missed me. I missed you too. Wait, who's that? Who's it? Is that Miss Patterson? Is that last time? If you go back to December of last year, you'll see this table. Remember when we had the uh, the dripping down onto the uh, the little cones? Y'all y'all could see it, but I couldn't because this was facing the camera, and we had those little um, sugar things that looked like bushes, but it wasn't. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. That's all I'm saying. Hold up. Hold up. <laughs> On the sides, it has numbers. This one's at 60. This one is at 60. Let's see what I got wrong. This is lopsided. This one is not at 60. Okay, let's see if that works. All right, this is better. So you see how it's going to stand, and you guys are going to see the gingerbread. I'm going to put it on here. And we're going to try to spackle this together. We're going to keep the smooth sides on the outside. We need something to prop this with. Y'all, this is this is interesting. So I didn't find that's a weak part of the show because I don't have anything. OK. All right. Just one second. How about we do it like this and we just put it on this tray. Let me put something on the tray. Canned goods. There's a possibility. So we got to have something. I want to glue the inside and the outside. That's how we work in this. Anyhow, I see somebody gave me some thumbs up over there on, on YouTube, on Facebook. Thank you. So uh, thank, thank you very much. All right. I'm about to get some jars or something. Let me go into the cabinet real quick. See what we got here. Um. Yep, we got some jars. Ooh, almost knocked them all down, but we got some. That's what we're going to do. We're going to try to put this, wrap it around it so that, uh, I don't know. Y'all, I ain't never did it like this before. I don't know what I'm doing. I ain't going to lie. I ain't lying. I don't know. But y'all know I like to experiment. So here we are experimenting. <laughs> there you go. Okay, so now mm, we're going to do this. <laughs> this is crazy. Okay, so we have, oh Jesus, maybe we should put something in the jar for weight purposes. All right, so we got our walls nearby each other and one big thing I'm missing 
and I told myself, oh, you don't need it. You don't need it. You don't have to get it. Mm -hmm. Yes, I do. I got to figure out where I put it, though. I need piping bags so I can pipe it just where I want it to be. And with a tip on it, I need piping bags. And where did I put the piping bags? Okay, I'm tired of looking for them already. Um, mm -hmm. Let's see what's in this. Y'all remember this from last year, don't you? Yeah. No piping bags in this one. Inside of the corner one, outside of the. I'm thinking the glue will hold it up. It'll lean. It'll lean a little bit like that. I was thinking, is that what you're talking about? I hope that's what you meant. All right, hold on. Oh, I think I see piping bags. I don't have any plastic bags. Here we go. Oh, here's a used one. Look at that. Yeah, I don't feel like making my own with the, with the parchment paper. Y'all really think I got some skills. I, I mean, I do, but dang, man. I don't know. No, no. No, no. No, no. Do all that. This is already complicated enough, y'all. Mm-mm, mm-mm. No, no. Okay. So I got a bag that I... Look like it's been used before and clean. Mm -hmm. All right, so what we're going to do, we're going to get a cup. <laughs> Tilt this to the side. Let me get a glass. Hold on. Wait, there's a glass in here that's not that clean. I ain't using up all my dirt my clean glasses. Put this in here. We're going to get some royal icing. I do have the skills to pay the bills. So I don't want to use my skills right now, though. I don't want to use them. All right, so we're going to put some of this royal. This is some thick stuff, y'all. This is super thick. It's cold, too. So I should have took it out the refrigerator when I got home. Mm. Anyhow, I didn't. And whatever I don't use tonight, we're going to leave in the plastic thing and tighten it up and use it the next day because I ain't wasting not a bit of this. I'm going to buy no more powdered sugar for this cribozoid. Actually, I'm going to have to make another one because I'm using up. Yeah, I'm going to have to make another one. Y'all know how frugal I am. I don't want to spend all this extra money. All right. So we got. Move that out the way. We ain't trying to break no glass today. This is some big stuff here. There is a hole in the bottom. So <laughs> thank you, doctor. Thank you for coming on. This is all experimentation. I know how to cook. I have a culinary degree. Le Cordon Bleu, what's today? The 18th? I got five days before it's due. I always do on the 23rd. Mm -hmm. $2,700 left on my student loan. Praise the Lord. All right. So now I'm going to turn this so y'all can see the outside wall. Nope, we ain't turning jack. Nope, too much work, too much work. So I probably don't need this tip because it's really small and I need a big bunch of stuff coming out of here. But it's too late now because, wait, hold on. Nope, 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 hold on. We can change the tip. See, this tip is just, for this job, this tip is not big enough. Bear with me a moment. Hold on a second. All right. Hold on, I got one. It depends on you. You may want a really very, very extra large tip. Okay. <laughs> you may. I don't want that one that big though. Hold on. All right. This one is a little larger. Oh, this might be the one. Because you can squeeze harder and it comes out wider than what's on the tip also. Also. If you want it to look like you have leaves, this is a leaf tip right here, and you can squeeze it out. It'll look like leaves. We can get to the green coloring and make it look like grass. 
our leaves. Because we're in Arizona, actually we don't like grass in Arizona because it costs money. All right, moving on. So we're gonna use this little bit bigger, not the massive one, not, not Big Poppy, not this one. We're gonna use uh, Little Mama, but not Little Baby. So we're gonna take this tip off if I can get it off. Yep, just a little bit got in there. So yeah, that's cool. And put that on, twist that around. We're going to see how this works, y'all. Thank y'all for y'all patience and watching me do some stuff that I ain't used to doing. And thank y'all for any of my culinary students, my classmates, excuse me, who are watching me on Facebook. Please don't take my culinary card. Should I lay this down, the, the wall down on the, oh, crap, 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 crappy crap. <laughs> Should I lay the wall down first? Now nah, let's leave it standing up. Okay, so I'm gonna try to work the outside. Let me get rid of some stuff off the counter. Try to work the outside and I'm gonna turn it around so you guys can see it. It's dripping though, it doesn't look too good this way. All right, hold on, let me see if I can turn it so y'all can see what I'm trying to do. Um, I'm not... Okay. Y'all try to, let's just do this. We want it as smooth as possible. We should, we trying to do a gingerbread house. This is melting. Okay, I'm going a, a really thick right here, right, right, right. And we're gonna try to bring it together. We're gonna place things and then it looks like we need to have this sit down and dry for about eight hours. So now let me put a little more plaster on here. I don't know if y'all can see that a little bit there. We want to make it real smooth and white. The better we do now, I could use hot glue. Come on, JD dog. Dang, you're smart, bro. JD dog said use hot glue. Y'all know what? If I wasn't trying to make this whole house edible, I would use some hot glue. I should have got the hot, I got a glue gun too. Anyway, maybe the third year we make the house, it'll be, uh, I'm building this up so the walls, so the edges look, there's a vision I have in my head and I want this to look really thick so you can see each wall. So later when this dries, that ain't cheating. Well, if you on competition level, it is. So later when this dries, I am going to um, put some more on the inside. Maybe, depends on, hold on. What the key part to this is, and I see that I'm wrong is, make sure it's squared up. Don't, don't do it like this. Make sure it's a, a square, you guys. I, it was looking like this, let me straighten it out. Cause when it dries, it's dry, okay? So this is gonna be like it is. We're gonna put this on the table over there. See what it looked like, you know, soon. Hold on, let me check the beans over here. Got them on a low, low heat because I don't want nothing burning on the bottom. So over there, I'm sorry, not beans. We have turkey that's boiling with some onions and some spices. And that's got another hour to go. It's been 30 minutes already. And you know, turkey necks are already cooked, but you got to get them tenderized with the heat so that they can pull off the bone and all that good stuff like that. And then we're going to add the great northern beans to it. And... uh we're going to make some cornbread. Before we get to the cornbread, though, I'm going to move this gently over to the table. If your wall ain't perfectly angled, this ain't, you know, ain't this old house. Oh, well, whatever. Okay, so we're done with this. We have to now cut windows or doors into the other walls. Okay. I mean, this is extra stuff. We didn't do this last year, but we could do it this year, right? right? Hold on. Okay, so what was that? That was room G. We got to look at the wall. Okay, this is the wall. So, all right, so what I'm trying to do now is make sure I have the right one. Yeah, these are the outside walls. So this one, we can put a little window on it. Why not? What will we use as glass? Plastic wrap? 
Hmm. I don't know. So we're going to cut a hole in the middle and pretend like we did something special. Then the other wall that's on the outside, we should, um, actually that wall's over there. Hold on a second. So this wall is going to go right here. This goes here. Then we have, okay, so we already got these two walls. We're not cut because we already started this stuff. So we're going to put a window over here. And then over on this wall, I don't know what we're going to do. But we're going to cut a window in this right now. I am making this up as I go because I don't know. And I have my little paring knife. But before we go any further, Jewel, what's up? Free to laugh now. I saw you went live today and I missed it. Free to laugh now. We have a paper towel. A lot of paper towel. We're going to soak this baby and we're going to wrap this tip so it stays moist. Okay. Thank you for the super heart. Okay. So we got this wet paper towel. Love and the grandkids is here. Hola. We are wrapping the tip of this up and we're keeping this kind of tight because we're going to use this for days. I ain't trying to lose my um frosting. We're going to put this in the glass. And we're gonna put this in the refrigerator. There we go. Now, what I wanna do with this wall, like I said, is cut a hole in it. I don't know, I always like to add extra work for myself. I don't know why. Hey, Jermaine, I see you over there on YouTube. I didn't see you come in. Sorry, sir, I didn't greet you when you first came in. This is not a Kincaid picture. This is an actual picture of when I went to Amsterdam. That is an actual picture of, uh, I wish I could zoom it in. This is the canal and these are the cars parked right close to it. This is when I was in, uh, when I was in Amsterdam uh, in 2007. This is the gingerbread house. Uh, we're gonna try to, um, probably should have a, a size window that I want instead of just freehanding. But you know what? This is not a competition. Jermaine, you everywhere. Yeah, no, that's yeah, that's my actual picture that I took with my uh my uh, camera that I had at the time. Not a phone, but my own camera. Again, that was 2007. That's when we went on a missionary trip to uh, Africa. My church and uh, we our last day and a half we went to Amsterdam and then flew out. When you go on a missionary trip, you guys, if you ever get to go. They always say when you come back, don't come back straight to your regular life. You should take a couple of days break because what you see is so intense. It is very intense to see people so destitute and so way out there. I mean, we all got destitution, you know, destitute neighborhoods. Um, when you see destitute and there's no water and there's no electricity, I can show you all some stuff, some pictures. I've showed you all some pictures before. And you just have to just you you have to like de decompress. You really do. Um, that's why we went to Amsterdam afterwards. And some people actually went to Paris after that. They just it's a from Amsterdam. There's a four hour and ten minute train to Paris. I did not go. Oh looky, a little something for me to eat. Now we have a little window for our bedroom. Ain't that pretty good? Not too bad on that square, is it? We just get some drapes. We be all right. Okay, so that's one side. Now the other side is a basic wall. So I probably need to cut a door in that one. So let me show y'all what I'm thinking and y'all tell me if I'm crazy. So this side has the window, that's the outside. Where's the other piece? Okay, now I have to tell y'all this. If y'all don't like putting stuff together for Christmas, don't build a gingerbread house. Okay, so here's the door. Here's the one that needs a door on it. So I think I need to cut like a wedge. Hold on a second. I need to cut a wedge right here and make that the door. Just a little area. I'm making this up as I go. I don't know. I don't have exact measurements on the door. Each door is going to be different. This is a masterful house. Okay, so there we go. We got a door and... Hold on, it's not square. This gingerbread recipe is good. Mm. I have to buy peppermints. 
Jewel. Okay, so here we go with the side window. And here's the door. This door is going to the hallway. So we need a one more tray and glue this together. And oh, the wall just broke. Oh no, that's how I made it. It looks like it's broken. Uh, the pieces were not matching. Oh, I freaked out on that one. Okay, I thought I broke the wall. Okay, what I'm gonna do now is go back and get my frosting out. You don't have to keep it refrigerated. If you're not gonna eat it, who cares? If you're gonna eat it, then you should be careful. All right, go on. We got another tray. This is moving. All right, so we're going back to our little display table because that one is moving and I'll be dead going to manage my, my display get all jacked up. No. All right, so hold on a moment. Regrouping. So better to have your floor plan out and cut all your pieces together and glue everything together. You know, whatever. Okay. Because this is complicated. Um, for y'all to be watching me, I am truly shocked because I would be like at home, like, what the hell is she doing? Oh, what the, what, what, what? All right, so this is the outside wall. Who is that? I'm trying to see your name. Lakeisha, that's who that is. They need to darken up the names and all that good stuff. And, uh, okay, so, so we can read it better. Y'all go live, y'all would understand what I'm talking about. So we're going to glue one wall really good. You see, you get to squeeze as hard as you, this is a small tip, but when you squeeze, it comes out thicker. We have some turkey necks and we're going to make cornbread in just a moment. Turkey necks with some uh, great northern beans. I am trying to pre-glue this wall right here. This is not the full gingerbread scope, Miss TV added. Okay, it ain't the same as last year, not yet. This is the construction, the decoration is what we went super crazy. Yeah, okay, we gotta get this lined up. I gotta find something to put here. Hold on and hold on. Oh, look at this little box. All right, so now, I don't know, I don't know people. Okay, this is not touching the glue. So I'm gonna shore it up a little more and we're gonna move this one to the other side. And this again, but when you guys come back, I want to have all rooms be able to put on the board and you can see it. So you don't have to watch this like over and over again, this part here. I just remember the more of this I put on, the stronger it was laying the foundation. Smooth the caulking. It's going to look like snow. I'm allowing myself super duper mistakes. It don't have to be perfect. All we don't say, how you doing? Fuck, man, I ain't Bob Vila. Cooking Mary Jane. Okay, so let me just, I'm going to put this with the, uh, the wet paper towel. And we're going to twist this tight. Tighter. I should have put a clip on. <laughs> You're going to watch it anyway. <laughs> Just live through me. The shadow, what's up? This ain't, this is special, y'all. I like projects. I do. Dang it, man. This is a lot. This is like another job. Is this the, the gum house? The G, was you, GBM house. Is that what you mean, gum house or GBM? What does GBM stand for? Okay, so I balled it up so no air could get in there. I might, I don't have any plastic wrap. We ain't gonna worry about it. still didn't buy plastic wrap yet. Okay, so this is sitting in here. I'm gonna put this back in the refrigerator. We're gonna move this to another area of the kitchen. No, not the GB man. Not, not snow, bro. We haven't made a snow sister yet. We're gonna make a snow sister, I think. All right, so we put that in the refrigerator. Hold up. We're gonna put this on the table so that, so just so y'all can see. Yeah, it ain't pretty, but maybe we'll make some lines that look like uh, next year. Who's that? Frida, 
free to wait. Hold on, hold on. I'm looking at your name. Oh, wait, wait. Free to be. Wait a minute. Reread too much for you. That's your name. Probably. I'm trying to read. I'm adding. I'm adding names. Okay. So the inside. Oh Jesus, Father God. Oh, oh my baby. Oh, oh. oh. Okay, don't move too fast. <laughs> Brennan, how you doing? All right, so you need to sit your, your house down before you lose it like I'm just about to lose it. It might not be Barbie. It, it might not be Barbie. It might be something else. It might be because we can't have Barbie really. If we have, we can't have a Barbie doll for real because if we have a Barbie doll. Hey, G. Colaton, I see you over there on, on YouTube. I'm sorry, I'm all distracted. I don't want Mattel to sue me. Okay, so we might have little bitty dolls. It's nice to see you too. It really is. I haven't seen you for a week or two. We're just gonna move this over here. Don't worry, we can always shore it up again. It is moving. We gotta let things air dry. Okay, so now that is how you construct a gingerbread house to a certain degree. You have to almost be an engineer to do it. It is blessed to be. That's why I was trying to say your name, and I, I was right. I'm looking. I'm gonna get a dollar store Barbie. Okay, so I'm gonna put this to the side. And I'm gonna go back over what we had last year. <laughs> yes, we need a discount knockoff. Love you for that. Okay, hold up, hold up. This is the leftover stuff from last year. Okay, I don't know. I use old stuff. This is some old stevia that I've had in my kitchen for, I lived here almost 18 months. Um, smoked. Um, Barbies, they might be a little too big. Hold on a second, wait a minute, hold on. I've had this stevia packet probably four years, these stevia packets. What I'm going to do is use these as snow. It's not truly edible, but you can put this on the little house. Okay, so that's one thing we're going to use. Hold on a second. Let me bring the stand back over here. Okay, so we've got some stevia packets that we can sprinkle on the snow. These are old packets. I don't throw a lot of stuff away, you guys. Mm -hmm. And then we got some... Uh, Leftover um, candy canes. We have some leftover little spots. You know I love these babies. Oh, hold up, hold up. Let's go look at something. Y'all remember this was my wall from. This is my leftover from last year. There's snow bro right there. Oh, so we gonna make. We might make another wall or a ceiling or what they call a roof. Hey, sugar drop. Okay, so we also have some other thick candy canes. What I can do is glue this to the outside of the house, the four corners of the house and make it like, this will be the corners, the very corners of the house. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. How you doing? Okay, so we got that. And then we have some, ooh, this is bubbly. I don't know if y'all can see it off. Oh, y'all don't know if y'all can some put it close. There's some bubbles like this is spoiled. You might use it. Yeah, we're gonna, we gonna go crazy. Okay, then we still have some of these pearly little drops. Look at that. Y'all know we used them last year. <laughs> so we got those. And I got these paint brushes because I couldn't use them to do nothing else with. I don't know what I'm going to do with them. Okay, moving on. We got some more stevia packets. And what peppermint is left? Well, we're not going to eat this stuff. So we have some, oh, we have some red food, red coloring. We got yellow. We got blue. We've got green. We, we use green like crazy. This year, we're going to do differently with the green. All right. So, and more stevia packets. So that's what we got left. That's what we had left over from last year. So the candy canes, we'll see. I don't know what to do with them yet, just yet. We got these thick canes too. And Lizzie was the one who gave me all this stuff, and it still well it may not be edible this year, but we can still use it. Imagine this on all four corners of the house. 
What if I got a string of mini Christmas tree lights to wrap around the whole thing? All right, you see I've kept these things in a plastic bag to avoid having ants and I don't have them. Thank you, Jesus. So we got these, this is gonna be, we might not use all these stevia packets this year. We might use them next year. If I get real happy, it'll be a two level house. That's a lot to ask for. Okay, so moving on. So we got these different colors, our basic colors, yellow, blue, red, green. Uh, those what I, or those are sometimes I use those to glue on the dots. Use that to glue them in to make them stick or just put a whole bunch of royal icing on there, make it stick. We'll see. I love these the best. I got to find another bag of these. Okay, so for those who are new, this is Snowbra. He had a hat. And he has some thong underwear, because that's what the viewers requested. That's all I got to say on that part there. Moving on. This one, okay, I'm going to throw it away, like Brandy said. Throw that away. I don't know why I need these brushes. I'm going to do a Bob Ross on the house, y'all. Maybe one side of the house will do a mural. See, I always overthink and get mad at all the work I got to do. But then I get excited. And then I get like, dang it, all this work. So this is... Now, I'm going to buy more. That's no bra, man. Look at my boy. He's still looking the same way. He don't age. Hmm. Anyhow, I am smelling smoked turkey, onions, and spices, and gingerbread at the same time. Jewel, I already ate. I've made the recipe four times and ate two of the... Okay, three of the recipes already. Leave the back open. What you mean like that? What you mean? Um, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me get you a visual. I gotta get all the crumbs off. Okay. Put this back down here. What do you mean? Leave the back open. Okay, so hold up, hold up, hold up. This is one room all the way here. Uh, hold on, I missed that last comment. Let me get that. You know what I'm saying? Love the grandkids for, for real. Get you some royal icing. People say put egg whites on there. Okay, let me tell y'all what I did back in Cleveland. Okay, they said to get rid of your blackheads, you whip up egg whites with some milk, you get some toilet tissue, and you put it on your face and you let it dry. And when you pull it off, it'll pull off your blackheads. I don't have that picture of me with toilet tissue on my face. I've tried to do it. <laughs> so I did try that. If y'all go on YouTube, you will find toilet tissue, blackhead removal, I'm telling you people have this. Um, Michelle, um, what's her name? Michelle Fawn did it. I got it from her first. No joke. Yes, I did. I tried it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so anyhow, by the time, next time I do this gingerbread, it might be next week, it might be two weeks. I don't think we're gonna do it on Friday. I'll show y'all some updates on Friday. Cause this is, I gotta put the room together. Um, but I gotta make sure they connect too. So I don't want it like boxes on boxes. I want them to connect somehow. Why? Because I was trying to get rid of the black kids on my face. Anyhow, so I have to build this room here, which we already got over there. I got to build this smaller room because I measured it wrong. I thought I had it. So anyhow, what I have to do, let me show y'all what I'm going to plan on doing. I am going to cut out squares. Oh, hold on. No, I'm doing it wrong. Let me think. Let me do it again. I am going to. You see, I've already cut out squares for the room. So what I'm going to do is lay this out and find out how this fits on a sheet tray. See, so I can go this way and get all my squares and pieces together because this is a big room that I don't have room. Put all my pieces together, let it fit in here, and roll it out. Oh, I don't know about that, Brandy. I don't know about that. I think we should have a, all kind of rooms. I don't know because when I see the professionals do dollhouses, they go crazy, man. They don't have no. They have it fully like you built a house for real. All right, so this is what I'm going to have to do is lay these out. And figure out how big and I still have the big room this one is 13 and a half by six and a half inches so I have to get a bigger piece of paper because most paper is 8 by 11 
So that's what I'm gonna have to do. Hey, Joy. So I'm gonna have to get a nice for this one. And then this room is a whole nother one. And I am going, that's what I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna plan better. I am going to create a couple of recipes and make sure they lay out and every piece fits in. Don't worry about loving the grandkids. Do what you got to do. Take care of the peoples. I have to, you, I have to do better planning. So y'all learn to plan with me. Gingerbread. Nia said the crib soy. I didn't know the realtor is here. Uh, you are gonna get an uh, estimate on the price and the value of the, of the property? Mm. Oh, maybe we'll little, do a camera walkthrough. A little video walkthrough through the house. <laughs> I'm sorry, I've been watching those on YouTube. Sometimes you watch people in other states and other countries walk through houses showing you how great it is. And you're like, oh, no, I don't want that house. Mm -mm. No, nope, I don't like that. Like you're going to buy it and it's half a million dollars or two million dollars. But, you know, you can still look at it and go, mm, that ain't a feature I want right there. Them ceilings is way too high. How much is it going to cost to heat all that? That's a lot of dang on room. You know, stuff like that. I've been watching videos like that. So what I'm going to do is figure out, I'm going to make a configuration. I'm going to cut every single wall like do this twice because this is one wall that you need two cutouts and lay them out and figure out how much I need. You said, pick me. yes. Who that calling me? Billy Jean. Tyrone Ski. Is that you, Tyrone Ski? You came into my crib and welcome. All right. So that's what I have to do. I have to. And I'm going to tell you all this. If you're going to build a gingerbread house, last year we had a one room house. We didn't do anything inside, no decorations. We just decorated the outside. I have jumped like 10 times bigger than what we did. We had a small little house that fit here. Nope. Yep, that's how big it was. Now we got, we're going to have one, two, three. I don't know. I don't know. It's a lot. So let's see what time is it. We got 37 minutes on the, on the beans. Oh, the rooms are already, on this floor plan, the rooms are already numbered. Riri, you too much, girl. How you doing? This is room C, area C, room D, room G. Yes. The walls, the walls I have. Yes. This is wall D with eight inches for This is going to be like this. Hold on. Which room is this? Yeah, this is the back bedroom. Yeah, I did that. I did number the walls. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. So now I got to do more planning. And I hope this gives you an idea. If you want to do a gingerbread house, uh, See for Kali Bama's room. Which room we gonna put the disco ball in? Hey, Kali, Kali Bama didn't want the disco ball, but we can still put one in her room though. Mm -hmm. See for Kali, we can do that. Cause you know, she didn't want to do the Barbie get saved. But if we find a bunch of, if I find a bunch of miniature furniture, oh my God. But then we still got to wreck the house. On the porch? No, we got a living room area. We can put it right here in the living room. This is a dining room. We can make this a whole big living room. I have to build a roof, though. Wow. Oh, wait, Brandy, why you always got to claim a room in my house? Y'all, that's what sisters do. Just all of a sudden, you got a room. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, my walls are falling, people. Okay, hold up. Okay, it's drying over here. It's drying. It's drying. All right, now it's time to make the cornbread, people. Cornbread time. All this going into the little room. Okay. I don't even know what time it is, really. What time is it? 7.39, my time. All right, let's keep these crumbs. As y'all can tell, when I get rich, Brandy's going to be somewhere nearby. I'm, I'm not even rich now, but Brandy somewhere nearby claiming stuff. On the TV, this is the pathway. I'm going to turn the lights off so y'all can see it. It's a picture of Amsterdam when I was there. Uh, yeah, we're going to get some corn. We, it's about time to get you right. Time to slow down. Um, this is a picture of Amsterdam when I was on the canal. This was literally taken by me. It was not a Photoshop. And I got to turn the lights off so y'all can see it better. We saving a little piece of gingerbread. I'm gonna wash this out with something else here. No, I wasn't smoking weed. No, we were on a, a missionary trip for church and we didn't know, we did not. As a matter of fact, trip me out. You're walking around the corner and all of a sudden there's this lady naked in the window. Not, you know, she had like a bikini on in the window. I 
forgot where I was. I'm like, what is she doing? And other people were standing there watching her and she was moving and doing all this. And I'm like, oh, oh okay. I remember now Amsterdam has some boxes. <laughs> so as soon as you pull your camera out to take her picture, she closed the curtains. I said, oh, I'll put my camera back. She closed the curtains on me because I was taking pictures. I do have pictures from across the street where they didn't see me. And you can see the women sitting in the window. One day I'll show y'all that. Yes, it was a red light district, but you don't know you in the red light district until the red light come, red light show up. You don't know. Uh, yeah, I told y'all the secret to Amsterdam. If you want to smoke weed, you go to the coffee shop. If you want to, if you want coffee, you go to the cafe. You say, I, I want some coffee. The taxi driver is taking you to a weed shop. Just saying, learn that too. Mm-hmm. Yes, I did. All right, so now we're going to make cornbread a half a recipe, a small recipe. It's in my cook, my cookbook. So just one second. Mm -mm -mm. I, I ain't really putting nothing on the tray. I don't know why I'm bringing it over here like it's presentation time. But because this cornbread was last minute thought. All right, so this is the cookbook that I have. Yes, it is. And I am going to be redoing this cookbook because I don't like how it came out. It was supposed to be all over. This was supposed to be all over the front and green on the back. I did this myself. This is self-edited. I did it all by my, well, I had help. Thank you, um, Auntie Vanessa. Vanessa Collins helped me out on this. Yes, I did do this. Uh, I did it on my computer first, and then I did it on Amazon. And so, yeah, you can be uh, your own um author. I am author now. Ha ha. So that's very exciting. So we're going to make the sweet cornbread. Do I celebrate I, I put Christmas on? I don't put no X up in there. I celebrate Christmas. Jesus Christ, my Lord and Savior. I'm the Jesus freak. Man, come on now. Oh, it does look framed. I guess you're right. Because I, I wanted to fill the whole thing in, in these colors, this green on a, the whole back be green or this color right here. Anyhow, I got my little logo on a corner of each page. Got my little chef hat right there on the corner of each page. <laughs> that was me. You think Brent, my Brandy, my sister does have her own book covers. She has her own books. Um, there is. All right, hold on. Anyway, this is sweet cornbread page. Y'all can see that there. Y'all ain't gonna see the recipe. Whatever, Brandy. The Bible tells you not to celebrate Christmas. It does. So you're not supposed to celebrate Christ, that he saved you, that he loved you, and he's your savior, and you're not going to hell. The Bible tells you that. It's not even Friday night if we got one. All right, man. Taronsky, pull up the scripture that shows that. And supporting scriptures. I want three scriptures on the screen that support what you're talking about. Moving on. All right, so now, um, let me lay this down here and I'm gonna start measuring. When somebody wants to tell you something in the Bible, Taronsky, you changing the subject, bro. Tell me what it, where it says you're not supposed to celebrate Christmas. That's all I'm asking. We all know he wasn't born in December. Everybody knows Jesus was not born in December. It believes, actually, they believe he was born in August. We can celebrate our Lord and Savior every single day. The Christmas holiday came about for December 25th because there was a feast. And y'all can check my facts on this. There was a feast, a big old feast that was uh, going on earlier. And then New Year's had another feast. So the powers that be decided to have a celebration so that uh, was because everybody was being so um, paganist or something like that, or what, what's the word? They were heathenistic. And so they came up with that. And then it became in, it turned into a trade situation. Jeremiah 10, one through five. I'll write that down. Go, you got another one? Keep holy the Sabbath, why not celebrate his birth? Thank you, Linda. Okay, Jeremiah 10, one through five. We'll get to that. Let me do the cornbread. I'm waiting for your second and third supporting scripture. And I'm going to say that to you because there's stuff you can say about Jesus and you don't need scripture that supports. Everybody's read the scripture. 
That's not, there's no supporting. Jeremiah 10, one through five is not supporting scriptures. So that's how you think a supporting scripture is. Taronsky, you kind of wrong, man. You ain't kind of wrong, you really wrong. When somebody says, oh, hold on, I'm gonna change the subject. When somebody says the sky is blue, they just say, because I told you so. That don't answer the question, that don't make it right. And that's what you're doing right now. I told you so, that don't make it right. All right, so let me go on. I'm making the recipe that's in the cookbook. I am making half of that recipe. So that's what I'm doing right now is making half the recipe because I don't want, it would be actually, it would be a nine by 13 inch pan. I hope I put that in here. Oh, I didn't put the pan size in here. Got to fix that in the cookbook. Hold on, y'all. I like to have the pan size so you know what you're about to get. You don't want to make too big a recipe and be mad that you got too much because this is a big recipe, I think. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're about to narrow this down. I hate it when I mess up like that. Okay, so just one second, y'all. This was a last minute addition to the show. Otherwise, y'all know I would have cracked my eggs already. I don't like touching all that stuff if I don't have it. All right, soap and water. Hold on. When I'm on my show, I like it to flow real smooth without me touching much of anything and having to wash my hands a hundred times. Isaiah 40, 19. So you're using Old and New Testament. Well, no, that's all Old Testament, ain't you? Isaiah 40, 19. Let me write that down. So you're using Old Testament to talk about New Testament, about Jesus? Okay. We'll see how that works. One more. Come on. Come on. Keep going. You got one more to go. And we're going to put them together and try to paint the story that you do, that you say. Okay. All right. So we got a couple of eggs here. And I need a measuring cup. I need a bowl. Blah, blah, blah. Um, when it comes to talking about somebody's savior, Lord and savior, when it comes to something that affects somebody's soul or anything, oh, it's not distracting. Mm -mm. When it, this, this recipe was last minute. If I was organized, it would already be measured out. Right now we have the chicken ne or turkey necks cooking and we're about to make the cornbread. We got the gingerbread houses trying to cure. We're trying to cure the plaster in the gingerbread. I'm going to turn off the lights so y'all can see that better in a minute. But when it comes to talking to somebody's soul or telling somebody that's going to something about how, where their life changing their life, don't come on any platform, whether it's a sidewalk, your job or online or any platform with half information, you can mess up somebody's life and or you can take them to a direction that makes go so far off. It takes them years to get back on course. That is not fair. Somebody did it to you probably. And that's not right. So know what you're talking about intently for real psalms 115 okay all right if y'all still on the air when i get off we'll go do this when i get done with the cornbread and that'll be a few minutes if y'all still don't watch that we'll go go we'll look at those we'll look at those scriptures and we'll figure it all out uh you sometimes you think you know the truth and you're very adamant about the truth and you don't you're wrong Pray on it. Seriously, seek the Holy Spirit. Seriously. I thought I was right about a few things. This is my personal experience, and I was wrong. Um, and that affected me and other people. Oh, no, no, no. You ain't interrupting. Mm -hmm. I don't think what you're going to you say is going to support it, though. But just be careful, y'all. Just make sure you know what you're talking about. In the name of Jesus, not in your own name, not what you want it to be. Okay? All right, so now I got to get some flour. All right, we got a little bit of flour around right here. We got to get us a bowl to put all this in. Okay. All right. Do me a favor. Can you screen? Can you copy and paste one of those scriptures on here? Just one of those three that you gave me so I can look at it while we're talking. Uh, hold on. How much sugar we put in here? Ooh, very little. I don't like too much sugar anymore. I'll be right back. Let me get a bowl. Okay, let me get a spatula. Hold on. Okay. We got a bowl. We got a spatula. I'm going to show y'all the background right now. I'm going to turn off all the lights so y'all can see the TV. Give me a second. I'm going to do it right now. I was going to hold off. I'm going to turn off all the lights. Just one moment.
Okay, I don't know if y'all can see it too well, but I'm gonna walk a little closer. I'm gonna show y'all. This is water. These are the cars parking right on the very edge of the water. Very, no, this is uh, Amsterdam. This is uh, Amsterdam um, and this is over here, back over here. I don't know if y'all can see me. That's where the red light district was behind me. So let me turn the lights back on. Uh, this was taken, I can't, it was October, 2007. It is nice, I like it. All right, hold on, let me get the lights back right. Okay. If I knew where those pictures were, I would show y'all the actual pictures that I printed out because I actually have that printed out too. Um, so let's go ahead and we're gonna have wet ingredients and dry ingredients. I need another bowl, I'll be back. All right, I am messing up because I am using too many bowls. You don't need this many bowls, this big a bowl to make a small thing of cornbread. But for demonstration purposes, y'all see I have my parchment paper and my paper clips. Just so the walls could stand up. More walls, y'all. More walls when I work for the government. So, you know, we like walls. Well, some of us do. Okay? So there we go. That keeps that formed right there and keeps the pan clean. Comes right out, just so y'all know. All right. So we're going to go ahead and throw the eggs in here with the wet ingredients. And we're going to go ahead and start with the dry ingredients. They gave me a verse. Did you post it? Oh, I missed it. Sorry about that. I want, no, I want you to actually, can you copy and paste it so I can see the first few lines of it? If you can get five lines on the screen, I think you can. Um, so we can see the scripture written out while I'm talking. I'm trying to do it the same time I'm talking. Uh, okay, hold on, let me get my flower right. Cause you already told me Jeremiah 10, one through five. You already told me that. You just haven't told me. I, I want to see it written, what it says on the screen. Uh, two, 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 because I'm trying to cook, that's why. And yeah, we'll make a small one. I told y'all if you want to, you can also use corn flour instead of all-purpose flour. I prefer that you use some organic flour. This is what I use. I use organic flour. Well, then go ahead and give me a few sentences. I use, this is 479, sometimes 499. No joke, I'll spend money on my flour. You may not spend this much money on flour, but for me not to have pesticides in my flour because I'm a baker, 75% of a cake is, is the flour. So I'm, you know, I mean, 75% of my cakes are organic then, right? Cornbread, a lot of the, the it's, you know, so now I got some organic cornmeal. So I got like a 75, 80% organic dish. I have fewer pesticides. That's the purpose of me doing this because I bake. If you're not a baker, you probably want grass fed uh, meat. Self rising flour because um, all you have to do is add some baking soda or some baking powder to it. There you go. Mm. Oh, chitty dog. Those who cannot see what JD Dog is saying, he says 75% of cakes should be frosting. Hmm. Come on, loving the grandkids. I thought about you this weekend. I'm like, how? I want to make a gravy with your spices. Hmm. I haven't made gravy in years because I've been keto for almost, yeah, I've been keto. I've been, you know, almost keto. Uh, people agreeing with JD Dog? Y'all got, y'all need a life, man. Anyway, let me put this. I ain't getting no money for sponsoring this flour. Just want y'all to see what I what I like to use. That's all. Um, any organic flour. It's the cheapest organic flour. That's five pounds for four. So it's a dollar a pound almost. Other other ones charge you five dollars for three pounds. You want me to scroll down? What you want me to see? No, those those are not government issued paper clips. Shut up. Leave me alone. They were old paper. No, actually, they're not. They're paper clips from when I worked in the bank. Ha ha and ha ha.
Yeah, German chocolate. I don't even like coconut like that, but the German chocolate, man, that's my, mm, I could eat that. The frosting on a German chocolate cake is a candy bar all by itself. Hold up, y'all, hold up, hold up. All right, got to get my uh, almond milk out. Man. All right, I didn't measure my flour yet. Okay, let me just work with the wet ingredients. Um, Eggs, milk. We're going to just work with the wet ingredients. I'm going to focus on one thing. Mm, true JD dog, whatever. <laughs> I don't even talk to you no more, JD. You, you happen to be right on this one. Okay, so instead of coconut milk, which is in the recipe, I use uh, almond milk because that's what I have on hand. I defrosted it because I froze. I used half of it and defrosted the rest. Um, we're going to use oil instead of butter. Uh, use butter, what the recipe says. But um, I got some oil. I like that. Whatever, upstate New York. I didn't even know you was in here. You done snuck into the cribozoid. Mm, okay. All right, so our wet ingredients are three things, oil, milk, and eggs. This book here is my book, and you can get it on, um, you can go to my webpage, or you can go to uh, Hey for Humanities, or you can go to Amazon. It is called Organic is Not Yucky, an introductory introduction to organic baking for the home baker. Thank you for inviting your followers, girl. All right, so for the dry, for the wet ingredients, we're about to measure this. I can, I don't really have to measure anymore because I know JD Dog. JD Dog. Bacon frosting. What would you frost with it? Cupcakes or a full cake? Because I don't know. Would it be a would it be a center layer? Okay. I'm sorry about I'm I'm sorry I don't mean to disrupt your toe. Topo, um, we, cupcakes. We having a serious conversation, me and JD Dog, right now. Hold up and hold up. Okay, for real, for real. I'm serious. Bacon frosting. We, we crunch it up into bacon bits because we want everybody to get some flavor on it, right? Right. Uh, speaks of not using images to worship instead of God says images are not viable. What is that? Is that doesn't say not to, that I already knew, but. Images, when you celebrate Christ's birthday, that's not you celebrating the image. You celebrating that you saved, that he died on the cross and for all your sins. That's not the same thing. Don't change it. All right, so we got two eggs in here. How much oil? I'm gonna just pour some oil in here, make this up as I go, y'all. I am not lying. I am not lying. I did not measure this out. Usually I measure everything out before I come on the show. I got a little bit of oil in here. Turkey neck smell good. Let me turn the oven off. Put the oven to 400 degrees. The turkey necks have 15 minutes before I add the beans to it. That's enough oil. Chocolate frosting with bacon. Uh, you can't have too, ooh. Well, this top is twisted. It just keeps going. Okay, move that to the side. Is that in fish? Okay. You don't mess me up now. I don't even like you right now, JD Dog. You don't. I'm on my own show. And you don't change the subject. Baking cupcake. All right. I'm adding a little milk. All right. I've made cornbreads a lot. One more thing I want to add. Corn. Grapeseed oil, I have some. Let's see. Oh. This is how much I use it, hardly ever. I put it on my skin. I have not explored it enough. Why y'all talking? I have not explored it enough. So grapeseed oil, it's all right. I do mix this with um, avocado oil. And this is what I put on my face. This is my moisturizer, no joke. Um, and I put a little bit of vitamin E. Is it vitamin E? Not vitamin E. Oh, I forgot. Oh, I put some coconut oil in there. So it's three oils I put in there. Hold on a second. I'll show you guys. The stove is warming up. Hummus or grapeseed oil? Hummus for grapeseed oil? 
What? They from the, so I use some of this coconut oil, which is uh, basically un, it's unrefined. Mm, it's straight coconut taste. It really is. Um, a little bit of grapeseed oil. I just started using this. I don't know if this is great or bad or whatever. Um, not yet. And I use coconut, uh, avocado oil and I mix them together with um, tea tree oil. That's what it is because tea tree oil is like a uh, disinfectant kind of. I have I, I used to use shea butter on a lot of things, but shea butter is a little bit too oily. It doesn't fit everybody's skin. It doesn't fit everybody's hair. But shea butter is is I I think it was heavy for me. I was putting too much shea butter. It was I probably need a little bit of shea butter, and that would be great. So yeah, I probably need to go back to it actually. Really? Okay. So the oils you use. Um, I got to test out the grapeseed oil. Avocado oil. I think, honestly, this is going to be my favorite kind of oil for the rest of my life. This and coconut oil. Because uh, somebody asked about oils. Moving on, changing the subject. Mm, JD Dog is putting me back on my spot. Thank you, JD Dog. You are so precious to me. So precious. All right, I could use all of this. So that's why they need a lot of milk or anything like that. So what I'm going to do... Meat in Pilsen. I'm going to use this liquid from the corn. I'm going to stop. I'm not going to use the whole thing. And then if my mixture is still dry, I'll add the rest of the corn. I add the rest of it. I'm getting a really good corn flavor. See? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. All right. So I'm going to put this milk up because I'm not going to use any more of this. And that's about what we're going to do. All right. So the oven is warming up. When you use parchment paper, just so you guys know, you don't have to spray oil on the pan. Saves you calories and all this other good stuff. And y'all want to do all that. So that's what that's for. I rather use parchment paper and it pulls right on straight out. Beautiful. Me and loving the grandkids. We love parchment paper. Uh, okay. I see y'all talking amongst yourself. Let me figure out my flour. All right. Dry ingredients coming up. Measuring cup. Measuring cup. Uh, Oh, sorry, my favorite measuring cups in the dishwasher. That's it right there. Thank you, Brandy. I will measure my flour. I got a problem with that. I got to make sure I don't really mess up. All right, I need cornmeal. This is organic, non genetically modified, slapped upside the head. Non uh, uh, free range, soy free. Is it soy free? Hmm. I don't know about that part. I hope I think so because organic, if it is. Hey, Bradley. Hey, number four. Hold on a second. Gotta put my cornmeal in. I found out it's better to have, if you remember, and I just forgot, to have less cornmeal and more flour. You get a better corn. Don't ask me how or why. It depends on what you do, but you get a better texture because the cornmeal is kind of cornmeal-y. And so if you're going to use one cup of flour, I would say use half a cup of cornmeal to, if you're new to this and then practice from there. All right, now we need some salt. Okay, I'm done with that. I feel like I'm a, I should be making it half. I should be making a full recipe, but I'm not. So I hope this does not mess up. You test as you go. When you are making cornbread, Keep going and keep trying to keep trying to keep trying to keep trying to do whatever because it is your cornbread is your house. Do what you got to do for real. Don't try to be perfect or like anybody else. Just your cornbread is going to taste like yours. Um, you could put some um, mixed vegetables in here. You could put a whole bunch of stuff and you could put a can of beans in here. I did that before on the show where I just put a can of beans in the cornbread. See all that protein. Good for you. All right. So I'm going to put almost a tablespoon baking cornbread. Yeah, almost a uh, couple teaspoons in here. Wait, no, I need it to rise quick. Okay, do a whole tablespoon of baking powder. Coconut oil, I can do coconut oil. Just so y'all know, I'm using aluminum free. And I probably need to make a big batch of 
I could have made a full batch of cor uh, cornbread. I'm using half a batch and save the rest so I would have something to make dressing with. Okay, now I love the grandkids says that after I've already started measuring things. Thank you. I could have done that. Mm -hmm. All right, so we got some dry ingredients. We need sugar, a little bit of sugar. I don't like too much sugar in my cornbread like I used to. It is a texture thing. I agree. I like how you think. All right. I used to put a cup and a half of sugar in my cornbread. I found out that was too sweet. I'm just going to measure some spoons and see what happens. Y'all, if this comes out wrong, that was two sweet spoons. We're going to see what happens. And this is the sugar that I use. It's organic sugar. This is $8 for 10 pounds of sugar. I think that's pretty good, but that's because Costco buys everything massively and they get a big discount. So I'm down with the discount. All right. Now, the people who drive to get a discount that's slowing up the road, y'all need to get out to wet. You need a lane just for people on the discount because y'all want to try to stay in. Oh, I want to lose my discount. Lose your discount and get out of my way. Moving on. I'm okay now. All right. Need some salt. Oh, I'm going to taste it. Oh, I love cornbread like this. If you did not want to use eggs, you could use uh, flaxseed, uh, ground flaxseed, one tablespoon of ground flaxseed to about uh, three, uh, maybe a quarter cup of water. Corn can be naturally sweet, but it's only sweet the first 24 hours. JD dog, slow down. Y'all be tripping with that. Why y'all got to be slow in the road, man? Why can't y'all drive? Why everybody drive like they're 85? Y'all got those little things in your cars and the, the insurance companies is snitching on you. They're looking at what you're doing, how you're driving, and you're giving them all the information so they can raise our rates or whatever because y'all special. Y'all don't even realize it. Uh, State Farm, which I do have, and there's, what's that? Not a Progressive has one. Little, what's her name? Always got her little gun. Mm -hmm. All them little gadgets you put in your car, you telling everybody how you drive. Mm -hmm. That ain't right. Mm. They will use it against us. Come on with it. Yes. When there's something in court, they'll say, this is what your little driving thing did. Think about what you're doing. You're giving somebody insight into your everyday habits. Now they know what they can sell you. They know how much they want to insure you for later in five years. You drive too fast. We're going to raise your rates or we're going to not give you this. Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm just saying. Mm. <sighs> That's true. JD dog. I think it is. Okay, I forgot. Dry ingredients. There's always five dry ingredients. Salt, which I do not have right now. I'm just saying. You can do that, but anyway. All right, hold on. I put too much salt in here. It's already filled to the top. I got to get the pouring spout out thingy here. Hold on. Ooh, that's a lot. Oops. Just be salty then. All right, moving on. Salt, sugar, baking powder, flour, cornmeal. This is how I do it. Five, I think there's eight ingredients all together, eggs, oil, and uh, milk. So there's eight ingredients, basic ingredients in my cornbread, and then I, then I kind of vary it a little bit. Senior citizens can drive fast. You turned it down? Nelson, I don't know about that being, you might be wise, that might've been a wise move. Let me go over this. Salt, baking powder, flour, Sugar. Okay, we got all the dry ingredients together. Now I'm gonna spoon this or stir this up so I can break the egg yolks because I didn't break them already. And we're gonna see how this kind of looks. Nelson, I don't have Alexa either. She ain't coming in my crib, Zoe. That little heifer gonna listen to everything I'm saying. Y'all know I'm Department of Justice League. I'm the popo with no gun. You think I don't? Mm -hmm. Moving on. Okay. Pouring in the wet ingredients, shoot, man. How many times have y'all seen where they, they use Alexis to bust people? Trust me, no. What, 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 what? They can what? They can drive through buildings too. The brakes with the get. Oh. Missing the brakes, whatever. Mm -hmm. Y'all, there's so much stuff. Okay, guess what I found out uh, earlier this morning? Y'all know how there's alkaline water? Y'all heard of alkaline water, right? Oh, this came out just right. Y'all heard of alkaline water. Do you know that the alkaline in the bottle 
It's not alkaline water after three days. We've been falling for a bunch of crap, people. All right, let me get my paper clips right. Well, research, how long, how long does it stay alkaline? Research that. I got a little piece of parchment paper in here. Research that. How long does it stay alkaline? Hold on, we got to taste this. Not too sweet. Um, look it up. A lot of people have spent money on that. But how think about it, how can it stay alkaline unless there's a chemical or something? If it's naturally alkaline, it's not gonna stay there for long. Don't stop it, JD Dog. <laughs> JD Dog says, don't have don't hold alkaline water in the thunderstorm. Okay. Oh, you know what today is, you guys? Today's a very special day. Very special day. Hold on, y'all. I got a little bit of this. Uh -huh. All right, sorry about that. I don't care if it's raw eggs. I love cornbread. I'm about to put this in the oven just as it is. And where's my pan? I like using sheet trays, you guys. It's just an extra layer of protection. So I always do that. All right, so now I can take the paper clips off. You don't have, you can bake them and don't, it's not touching the food, it's fine. But I'll take them off, pull out my cornbread when it's ready, off the sheet tray. <laughs> Need it all up in my head. We got two minutes on the neck bones. And so what we're gonna do now, I'm not gonna use this corn, so I'm gonna put it back in. They do put expiration dates on there. I don't think anybody was reading them. Y'all did not see. Why are y'all talking about protection? Oh, because I brought the word up. My fault. I didn't mean to take y'all there. Okay. Mm, y'all special. All right. So now we have to save this bowl. So hold on. Let me just finish this right here. I grew up on cake batter. A cornbread batter. I don't get the flu. Matter of fact, I'm allergic to flu shots. They make me break out. So I don't get flu shots. Oh, it tried. It is lipstick time, ain't it? Mm. We'll come back to that one. Okay, so now we're going to drain the beans off. I don't know how I go through every dish in the house when I'm on the air. That's what I was thinking too, Linda. Yes, I agree with you. I agree with you. You don't get the flu? Yeah. Healthy as a horse? Yeah, I'm all right too. Thank you. Okay, it says the beans are done. Well, to the degree that we want them done. Now, I'm not gonna be able to finish this on this show. I am just going to this lid came with it. Doesn't it's not gonna stop the beans from coming out. It's just I put a refrigerator, keep it covered. That's all. So I'm gonna drain the water off of this. I made a little mistake. That pot that those necks are in is too small. So I'm gonna transfer it to another pot. Because you can't put all these beans in there with those necks. No, that's just not enough. Uh I'm gonna probably spoon these out of here. Let me get another pot. Hold on. All right, I keep my lids in here because why not? Mm -hmm. All right, now. So we're gonna pour, we're gonna splash the neck bones in here. Is that you, Natasha? Welcome to my cryptozoic. We are about to put these beans in this pot with these neck bones. Just one moment. Uh, turkey neck bones, that is. I know turkey neck bones are not people's favorite. I'm on Facebook right now also. I need to know if it's, I think I'm pixelated on Facebook though. 
the seasonings I put in neck bones, I'll give them to you in just one second. Well, come on in. I'm glad I'm here for you when you get off work so you can de-stress by watching me go through these antics. I am. This is an easier way to strain. No, I did not use vinegar to tenderize the beans. I really thought about it, too. Never ever in my life. Today was the first day I thought about tenderizing my beans with vinegar. Never thought about that till today. Why are you over in my head? What are you doing? Why are you sending me wishes? Turkey neck bones are work. You got to love some turkey neck bones because they work. These, I normally do mine without flavor. You can do it without that. I like them the way they are, but if you want to add a whole bunch to it um, and you want other people to eat them or something, you want to be friendly, yeah. Pinch of soda to get the gas up? I'm glad it's a stress relief. All right, so I'm trying to get the rest of this. You see there's water in here. I just, y'all, I could use a sieve and sieve through it. I don't feel like dirty up another dish in the house. This might seem a little more complicated, but it's not for me. Did, did you say turkey neck beard? What did you say? Really? Are turkey neck flavorful? They're smoked turkey. If that's what you're looking for, is that what you mean? All right, so we got most of this out of here. You can also do this with some 15 bean soup. Oh, Lord Jesus. Mm. Hello, Lou, LaRue, what's up? Welcome to the Cribosoid. We have done a lot tonight. We got to go revisit those walls that we made. Because um, we did a gingerbread. We tried to put it together. I got to work on it. I got to have the house complete so we can decorate because that's the part the show y'all like the most is when we decorate like crazy with no common sense and have different things showing up on the screen. Telling y'all, y'all go back to December of last year and look at the gingerbread show. That's all I got to say. Okay, so I got a pan of beans. They've been soaking for, is it eight o'clock? 13 hours. They've been soaking for 13 hours. Um, I, the pan that I cooked the, um, I forgot to set the timer for the cornbread because I'll be talking. You know what? I love a woman who can cook too because I don't like no nasty food. You know what I'm saying? All right. We're going to pour the neck pour the neck bones in here and put it back on the stove and give it another 45 minutes to cook. 30, 45 minutes, you know, better 45. Just one second here. These are the neck bones. They have floated to the top. That should be enough water for the beans. Yeah. Put a fire hydrant on there. Y'all, have y'all seen Martin Lawrence has his own cooking show on YouTube? He cooks for you on YouTube. He has his own channel. Oh, don't splash me, Jesus. Father God. Okay, there we go. A little bit. Of onions are still intact. Let's put them in there. And he has a fire extinguisher in his kitchen. I'm like, okay, Martin. Yeah, it's pretty dang on good. I ain't gonna lie. Okay, I'm gonna put this back on the stove for, like I said, I'm gonna set the timer just to make sure I don't overcook it because, you know, you don't want to cook it. And uh, it does smell good. Where's the lid? We're gonna put the lid on it and be done, and done with that for a few minutes. So we won't finish this on the show. Hold on, let me just put the timer on. So I, reason why I put timers on is because I'm talking. If I'm not talking, it's like I can, I can smell it and tell when it's ready. We're going to go 35 minutes. We do that. Uh, you got a fire extinguisher too, Brandy? Okay. Yeah, so when you are talking to people and you have people in your house, oh, you a little wise cook. You smart and everything until you don't got talking too much and, and you done burnt something. So use your timers. Don't be ashamed because if somebody, tell the person who's in your kitchen, you're so entertaining, I'm going to forget. So I better go ahead and put this timer on. Y'all don't shut them up from talking about you. If you're a real good cook, you can just tell when it's done. Shut your mouth. You entertaining me. You distracting me. So I got to do that. Just make that comment. Compliment the person so they shut up. All right. So I'm putting the sugar up. <laughs> Seriously, that's what you do. And uh, I think everybody should have an extinguisher. Yes, because there's different fire extinguishers. I learned that in culinary school. Because not every you you got all purpose you got a uh, oil um, and you got something else. 
Yeah, that episode was one. It, whew, it, that last year, if y'all watch that, come on, Nita. Nita, you don't play with nobody, do you? You just kick everybody out your house. All right, for the people on YouTube, on Facebook, I'm going to let you go. Thank you so much. I hope this is not pixelated and y'all can see this because some of the videos, I don't like how they're coming out. Pop-up grease fire. I praise God I don't haven't had a pop-up grease fire um, because that's just a little too much. That I, I, I would be, I would feel like I didn't, like I didn't use my culinary license correctly. I don't have a license, but you know what I'm saying. You can't feel like I've been wrong. All right, so we got YouTube over here, and I see one person's on YouTube right now. Okay, cool. All right, so um, now what are we doing? We're waiting for the cornbread. Cornbread's pretty. When you make cornbread, you're going to be able to tell if it's going to be the right way or not the way it's. After you've done it so many times from scratch, you'll be able to tell when you mix it if it's going to come out great. And that one's going to come out all right. Got crap on me. It's gonna come out pretty good. It would be better if I had corn to it, but I didn't want to add corn to it because the corn made it made it break up and pieces. I want this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, next time I'll add corn. I'll add less liquid and more corn. That's what we'll do next time. So every time you make cornbread, do what you got to do. And again, use organic flour if you can. It does cost money, but that makes your ingredient. Think about. What is the largest thing, you, the most thing you use in your kitchen and make that as organic if you can. Even, whether you can afford, if you can't afford anything else, find out what you use the most. You use a lot of oil. I would say use avocado oil or coconut oil. Seriously, I, uh, whatever you use the most, if you fry every day, get the best oil you can. The reason why I would say not to use some other oils because there's omega-6 and omega-3s and you have too many omega-6s, it'll change how your body digests your food. So this one has more omega threes and omega sixes. That's why I'm picking out avocado oil. So and same thing with coconut oil. Okay, that's why I pick what I pick. Know your reason. Don't pick some because I told you go look it up. Go look it up. Research it. Don't come up me like that. Peanut oil. If I could find peanut oil in a glass jar this big, I would use peanut oil. But peanut oil, it can you know, yeah. I don't use olive oil. Pure, I stopped using olive oil a few years ago because they said most olive oil on the market is fake. And I can't tell the difference on what's good and what's bad. So I decided not to use olive oil because I, I don't know what I'm what I'm paying for. Um, I'm, if, if I'm paying for canola oil, which I don't want, and it just got a little olive hint flavor in it. I don't know that I'm doing that. I don't know if I'm using corn oil and I'm not using I don't do corn oil. Uh, I'm not, what else? There's a vegetable oil. These are three oils I'm not going to use. And I'm slowly but surely getting rid of safflower oil. Slowly but surely. I'm getting rid of that too. So I have some of that too, but I'm getting rid of those too. They can be a little, um, all of those oils can be high temp. When you're, when you're trying to eat right, you, you, you have to make it a gradual situation. It can't be like, oh, change the whole world. I'm throwing everything out my pantry. You can't do that. That's crazy. You'll go crazy. Avocado oil is not that expensive, Miss Soto. Okay, it depends. That's your bottom line of whatever you're going to buy, whatever you want the most in your house to be clean, is going to cost you the most. This costs a lot. $4.79, this is five pounds. That's almost a dollar a pound. You, list, you use synthetic oil, J.D. J.D. Dog, on your car, you're supposed to use. Okay, I'm not talking great, J.D. Dog. <laughs> but whatever your bottom line is, if you're a diabetic, you're probably going to get the best keto food you can, right? Because keto, keto will help you, help you with your diabetes. Butter, my butter has got to be good butter. Oh, my fats, oh. My flour and my fats have to be very good. Oh, Lord Jesus, got to be the best. I like, I, I as my income increases, my y'all gonna see me get better flour and better butter first. You'll see that. You'll be like, dang, and that the more the carry gold is okay. But if you could carry gold at, at Trader Joe's, which Trader Joe's recently raised their prices, you guys. Carry gold used to be 319, now it's 379. Ah, the butter that I use. Oh, hold on. Hold on, here I come. I'm telling you what I use. I try to use 
Thank you, Brandy. I try to use butter that does not have uh, not with cows with uh, RBST in it. And also all my dairy. I try to have all my dairy, no RBST hormones, no hormones. That's what I use. I try. Land of Lakes does not say that doesn't have hormones, but they have some good sales, but I, they don't say that. Most things I think from California, I have to do more research. Most dairy from California, I don't believe they have hormones in it. They're allowing it, but it doesn't say it on the label. So that's why I haven't used them. But, hold on a second, I dropped my upside. My floor plan is on the floor. All right. So now, what time is it? It is 826. Um, I, don't, I, I don't think Land of Lakes tastes okay. But they just don't say what I wanted to say. Um, hmm. All right, y'all, I'm done for the day. Let me show y'all the walls. Let's see how solid the walls are. Okay, so this was the first wall that we built. It looks like it's dry. I do use special. Okay, don't talk about eggs. I am not happy with the eggs. I went to natural grocers yesterday. They did not have soy free eggs. I had to get the free range eggs. Oh, it's solid. We got one half the room done. I'm not going to eat the walls. I promise you I won't. I'm, I'm not going to eat the walls because I put them together. The rest of the crumbs that was in that bowl, I can't promise you I ain't eating them. Okay. All right, so we're going to let this cure. <laughs> I like that word, cure. We're going to let this cure for uh, a day or something. I want to get it solid, and I need to bake some more, and I'm going to put them together. 40 degrees Fahrenheit. What you talking about? Hold on a second. Just to, to make everybody feel special. Right now in Arizona, it is 72 degrees at 8.28 p.m. The, thank you, Mommy Sweeps. You are so generous to make me, let me have my own crumbs. She's so precious to me. I don't even understand her like I do. Okay. So this table in my kitchen is for gingerbread construction. Mm, okay. So now, okay, let me tell y'all something I learned from Dr. Uh, Berg. When it comes to saying grass fed, just the crumbs, isn't that um, Rick the Ruler? Uh, when he says crumbs, y'all know what I'm talking about. Um, okay, Nelson, just come live with in, in Arizona. You can't live with me though. I love you though. You got dogs. You know, we, no, we can't have my house too small for your dogs. Anyhow, there's two different things. There's okay. When you look at a label for grass fed meat, it'll say if it says grass fed, it has to say, mm, yeah, you're right about the tarantulas. If it says grass finished or, or uh, grain finished, because they can be grass fed, but they plump them up with grain right before they go to the market. You got a cat? Yeah, mm, cats are temperamental. I got my own temperament. Mm -hmm. But just be careful when you read your, there's so much stuff that when you find your bottom line, what you have to do. I like my meats organic if, if at all possible. I do. I can't always do that because I'm somewhere and I need to eat when I need to eat. I'm not going to lie. I try to believe 80-20. So 80% of the time, if I'm at home, I want the cleanest ingredients. And when I'm out 20% of the time, then it's going to be something else that I can't control, but I got to eat. So I got to be realistic about life and can't think everything that says organic is organic. I pray to God that this is organic because I'm paying extra money more and I want my health to be better. But don't think that everything in your house has to be organic because everything probably won't be. If they say grain finished, that's the bad part. They, they fed the cows grass until right before they took them to the market a month or two before and then they fed them grain to make them plump up so they can get more weight on them that's the wrong one you want grass fed all the way through it takes them to uh if you listen to dr Berg, it said he says i gotta research this myself it takes uh, about 11 months to get a cow plumped up on grass versus if you feed them grain they plump up all right they plump up big right away so because that's why they did grain fed because they would get the cow plumped up fat, fatter, quicker to the market to get more money. It's always about the dollar. Y'all know that. 
All right, y'all. Um, let me see if my cornbread likes me or not. Hold on. Nope, it does not. The cornbread is very light in color. Uh, supposed to make the muscle rest. Berg, B E R G. Um, hold on a second. Let's see here. Dr. Berg is on YouTube. Okay, YouTube. All I got for y'all is what I got. I'm going to let y'all go because it's about to end the show. And then I'm going to end on Periscope. And um, thank y'all for coming in. Thank y'all for being here. Everybody on Facebook or YouTube. Everybody. Someone, just one second here. I will see y'all. YouTube, I think I'm going to see you uh, Saturday. Next YouTube show will be Saturday, and we're doing some kind of breakfast. That's for YouTube. All right, cool. There we go with that. Now, 